Aya and today I'm doing a vlog this is day one of the vlogs and it's a shin splint recovery vlog and I just want to show you what I've been told to do and I've googled some stuff and other runners have given me advice and a trail runner um, shop assistant at decathlon and that's a decathlon in Eastlands in Manchester has given me some advice on some exercises so I'm just going to show um, basically what I've been doing today the doctor gave me ibuprofen and the normal ibuprofen a 200 milligram and these are 400 milligram and it's not such a pain at all this morning so I've been told not to take the ibuprofen god I can't get it out because um, it masks the pain and you don't know whether it's getting worse or getting better. So first of all, a friend on Facebook, and she's a runner, has gave me some advice. And she said to get compression socks. Now, I tried a pair from Decathlon UK. And I brought them home and they was too tight on this bit here. And it dug in the back of my knee. So I had to take them back and get them refunded. So my friend on Facebook said to get these and me from Sports Direct and me carry more and they're a men's size, I think it's size 7 to 11 so they're like a universal fit but we also do a plus size, right? So here's a screenshot of the Sports Direct website of the socks. right and this is a diy ice compress so it's three parts water and one part alcohol now it's got to be strongest alcohol like a spirit so i've put vodka in it because they had a tiny bit of vodka and as you can see that's been in the freezer and it's not completely set into an ice cube so it stays musher and you put it in a Ziploc bag. I've just put this tape on the top because the Ziploc bag was slightly leaking and I don't want it to run out all over my freezer. But it's green because I've put food colouring in so I know what it is. And the advice on my YouTube where I watched it told you to do this so no one throws it away. So I'll show it on now. It's the ice pack on, the ice compress. Um, you've got to keep your leg elevated. I've been reading on the fact form that the doctor printed off for me. So I've had my leg elevated loads today um, and I've been putting this on. It kind of defrosts after about an hour and then I put it in and it's, it's near enough frozen in another hour. So I'm doing it every hour, then an hour break and then every hour. But yeah, it seems to help. Um, you can actually put a bit of a crepe bandage over that to hold it on tighter but yeah it does a job and it costs me nothing apart from the vodka so yeah it's a really good idea if you want you can youtube it on diy ice compress now there's all different types people are doing them with different alcohols or different methods but i found this the quickest to make and the easiest right okay right so this is a little stool I've found so while I'm sat at the computer editing I've got my leg elevated with the ice compress on but this morning it's actually 1 p.m. now in the afternoon just after dinner this morning I went to um, Decathlon again Eastlands and I was speaking to Howard there who's an assistant a Decathlon assistant shop assistant so he said the next time I run to try rock tape and also my friend on Facebook she said to try rock tape now it's got a few different names it's called rock tape and it's also at Decathlon called kinetic tape I'll just show you it next but you I've got to look on YouTube how to strap it up Howard said and that's a Decathlon assistant um, because there's a certain method of putting it on so I'm only going to use that on my next run so it's only day one and I've got another four days rest and then on the sixth day I'm going to try running half a mile on my trails I've also got new trainers for trail running trainers and yeah 
so I'll just show the kinetic tape now it's not unopened or anything I'm just showing the box wrong it's not kinetic tape it's kinesology tape and it's elastic adhesive five centimeters by five meters if you can read that there some of it's in foreign because decathlon's a foreign store but i love decathlon they're great good prices we've shopped there for years and all the products are really good and that's their own products so as you can see that's in foreign and you can search it here aptonia.com right so i'm going to strap up my leg when i go on the run on day six like i said i'm only doing half a mile but i've got a youtube how to fit fit this so i might do a vlog or a bit of a video on how to fit it or the best way i've found to fit it on me right i just wanted to show these trainers these of what have given me the shin splint now the more mile r66 and we're meant to be neutral running trainers and as you can see they're really flexible they're also lightweight i've been told lightweight trainers because they're lightweight they um, reduce the cushioning in the sole um so that's not a good thing also the tongue is just suede it's not padded and as you can see it's got like a heart a real if you can hear that a real hard insole i've took the insole out because of where our photics um but the footbed is really hard so um, this is what's given me shin splints i've been running and i've been running uphill and i've also run on the treadmill on day five and on day five when i run on my treadmill in these the pain came instantly as soon as i'd finished the run and i only run for a mile and it's a 20 percent incline with treadmill but yeah um i've done a review on these or an unboxing i mean but i would recommend do not buy these trainers they're no good um you'll get shin splints or you'll get other injuries um they were 26 quid and four quid post but i've bought these other trainers and i'll show them now but i recommend on my recommendation don't buy these i'm going to do a review and it's not going to be good right so there's an unboxing video of these and you'll find it up here it'll pop up now right and these are them the kalenja xt6 and my trail running trainers because i'm not running on the roads anymore i'm starting running on my trails and i've always done trail running i've just took the easy option and started running on my roads so as you can see these are really padded got a nice padded tongue nice padded hair got no insoles in again but if you feel that at the bottom i don't know how well you can see it's really soft to touch now i've took the insole out because of where our photics so really i shouldn't have got a shin splint with our photics so it shows you the r66 more mile trainers are just a waste of money now i think these was 55 pound but i've also bought another pair of trainers to wear as casual or what i call casual um just to do the dog walking in basically so i'll show them next right so these are the other decathlon trainers and it's decathlon's own brand kalenja and these are kalenja elio feel trail running shoes trainers so just have a quick look at these there's two videos and the, the other video for the unboxing of these you'll find at the top up here popping up now right so i've bought these they're not as aggressive lug as the other ones on my sole but it's still trail running trainers and howard again i'm always mentioning howard said um go for trail running trainers rather than just other trainers because they're more padded and we've got better cushioning in the sole 
So, but I've been up, you can see the mud on them. I've, I've wore them just to walk down to my parents and it was all right, but the shin splint is still really sore. As you can see, I've got my leg up. It's been up most of the day. Right. I just wanted to show them. And if you can see inside here, it's my orthotic. Now, let's pull this out. Now, these aren't cheap to buy. I go to Middle and Foot Clinic. And that's them. They do an analysis on a treadmill. And she looks at your feet. And she videos your feet and how you walk. And she makes these. And she's called Adele, I think. She makes these custom fitted for your foot. So, really, do you know, I shouldn't have got shin splints. Um, and I say again, it's through wearing the crappy More Mile R66. Now, the More Mile R66 was um, 32 quid in total. And these from Decathlon was £35, so buying off eBay is not a good thing. Um, you can't try them on, and you've got no one to give your advice about them. So that was a skill buy error on my half, thinking I'm saving money, and I'm not saving money in the long run, because I've had to buy another two pair of trainers. And as you can see, they're, flex they're quite flexible. But yeah, I've had to buy another two pair of trainers. I've also had to buy compression socks. And I've also had to buy the um, rock tape. So I've not saved money in the long run. I've actually spent more than I wanted to. But it's good to have good running trainers. Um, you need them. You need to take care of your feet and your legs if you're running. And running on the roads is high impact anyway. So like I said, I'm going to be trail running from now on. But it's only day one, and I've said before, I'm running on day six, so I'm going to rest. Right. So I'm going to carry on with my recovery, elevating my leg, and putting my DIY ice compress on. And I'm going to end it here, because um, I've not got much else to say. And I'll catch up with you on my shin splint recovery, day two tomorrow. And you'll find links next. Up here in the left hand corner will be a subscribe button and there will be just various videos next um, and it's at the links. Right, okay, you've been watching me, Paul, in a lot of pain <laughs> um, at One Man One Dog. Okay, catch up with us tomorrow and if you find these videos helpful, if you've had shin splints, um, Please think about subscribing, it helps me out a load and it encourages me to make more videos. And when you subscribe, you'll get a notification when I upload a video. Right, I'll catch up with you on Shin Splint Recovery, day two, tomorrow. Okay, bye.